Here's a funny little story. I got a buddy that's a little bit of drinking, and when I'm around, he gets all hammered up, and he gets into this, like, kind of sloppy, frothy, what are you grappling your legacy? What Fucking legacy? Legacy? What, what do, who do I think I am? You know, Aristotle? Or, like, some kind of, like, tall ass? No, I'm an asshole in his backyard that pulled off a lot of great triumphs, right? Mm. The legacy, I want the legacy to be like he, he did it, he was good to people around him. They liked him. And then he died <laughs> at 79 years old or something in the woods. <laughs> it wasn't just this, mm. you know, I, I don't know how to say it. I got, what a legacy. You know, you know, when you hear that kind of shit, when you're around people who are concerned about like SVA in New York, now, that's a stodgy group of kids, man. <laughs> I kept just saying to him <laughs> like, boy, because I went and spoke there for Debbie Millman, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, I like yeah. Millman. But when you're speaking to those kids, that is the about as high as it gets. Even RISD, one little notch below, they were, I could loosen them up. But with those SVA kids, they knew they were going to be doing big things. I don't know who'd want to sit next to them at a shop. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, who's going to want to go to lunch with you people? Because, mm. geez, man, loosen up. You know? You're going to go, okay, you're going to go reinvent the world with graphic design? Do it. But if you're a dick along the way, <laughs> Who doesn't matter how much money you make. And that's what I kept saying these things to them and like, loosen up. This is a dumb presentation from some, you know, someone left the gates open and I squiggled in, you know, like that's, that's enjoy that. No, just focus, you know, forgettable as the day is long, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why in my travels, I'll show that and say, well, you know, <laughs> Thank you, Millman. Did my best to talk to the youngsters. Tough crowd, you know. But you know what? You go flip it the complete other way, and you're at, I don't know, Lake of the Woods, Votech, in the middle of nowhere, nowhere. Those kids are hungry. I'd much rather go there. They were cool. They were hungry. They were excited. They were asking questions. Because you know what? They have to go out and, like, you know, compete. And shit you know yeah it seems like you're a lot more concerned with the work itself and the legacy that's just gonna happen after the work right you know it's like whenever you decide to retire whenever that is whenever you get sick of you know i mean i'm i'm impressed that you all these years you're touring the country in the orange van and you have this like rock star vibe of you know going from place to place and but you seem more concerned with the work and the legacy is just like well when you hang it up you're going to sit back and have something to look at. You know, the the going on the road, that was a designed situation like anything. You know, like, like are we even allowed to go on the road? I remember asking, you know, like my publisher and stuff when I made the book. And it was like, they didn't really have an answer for me. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go do it on my own. Mm -hmm. You know, and how that's one of my greatest triumphs is going out, being profitable and pulling that shit off three times the way we did. That wasn't supposed to happen. And yet, the coolest part is that, and you know, no one ever talks about this. How would they even know about this? You know, it's like the coolest part to me is that if a kid at the, you know, the Louisville show, you know, I remember you in the, I remember you, Matt Reno. I remember you in the merch, line, oh, yeah. you know, just with a credit card. Oh, watch me. I can buy whatever I want. All that kind of shit. I remember you. Yep. <laughs> I don't remember the unlimited credit card or everything. Home like Home Depot. <laughs> platinum card well we'll see you let me try sway okay <laughs> just give it one of every field notes <laughs> we'll just say this much thank you for if you bought anything that when you were there but there were a couple kids there that were kind of kid you know young kids and mm. i just loaded them up with shit i don't it, 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 you know yeah people who can afford mm. it thank you you know whatever and and it's, the prices aren't crazy ever but there were a couple kids that were like kind of you know watch and i said hey listen you know they're, they're, they're students. You know, it's like they're broke. I know how was that. And I did a lot of that. That's why we kind of went to do it. You know, I mean, sure, we were profitable. Um, but but like anything, just to set the record straight, that's not real life, you know, and that is a um a character you play almost, you know, like we're on the road and we're doing this thing, you say thank you to every person who helps, and you go kick the world's ass. And then when you get home, you know, it's like you're right back to it. You know, and it and and it's like so. You know, understanding that we were able to deflect and not have to. By the way, when I'm here and I'm chained to this desk and I'm working on a project for a client, I take it very seriously because they're they're trusting me with money, 
their legacy, their their next three. How about this? Not gonna have a logo for a hundred years, but they might have it for three or four or five, right? Mm-hmm. So the next five years of their brand mm-hmm. or how they're gonna message things, I'm gonna be a part of that. So I take it real seriously, you know. What was cool about the book tours or some of these other things, we were able to tip the scale. So it wasn't the same old shit where I'm just kind of locked, you know, uh, locked here, making lots of money, making good money. But uh, we were able to get away with it in a pretty weird way, you know. And that's 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 what I, you know, uh, I, I showed that in the book, you know, that was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, we lived it, you know. Um, but like I remember little moments like Lee, my my girlfriend Lee, like saying to me like they think that you just do this indefinitely, you know? And it's like, no, I tell them, I tell them that this is only this many dates. Yeah. But you can see it in their eyes and that's the power of perception. It's a weird thing. So I was pretty careful to make sure I tamped that back down. Like they would see me unloading the van and want to help me. Well, I have to unload the van. You know, it's not like there's a crew, you know, or like Lee saying to me one time at Adobe Max, we were down there at Adobe Max and, you know, she just kind of stopped me on the way, and she said, "The moment you cross into that threshold, you know, they're all pawing at you. They want your autograph and all that shit, but they don't know what you are before that threshold. You're just an asshole <laughs> arguing with someone over parking. You know, like like two blocks away. You know, like oh, how much is parking? Today? You know, get the van. You know, you know all this kind of. You are just remember what that means when you cross over into there. That's not real life. And she's right. Yeah, it was fun. And I'm, you know, what we go sell a bunch of posters and hats and." Do my talks. I'll be doing it in October coming up here in person again. What What is the meaning of any of this stuff? I was able to take care of myself along the way, take care of my mom, my girl, my little sister, her nephew, my, my almost brother-in-law, Jacob. That's what matters. And I did this working for some really big stuff that you may never even hear about. And then a lot of little shit that I really talk about all the time, you know? And that's, uh, I'm really proud of that.